Hello. Hello. Hello, Sven. Hey, what's up? Good. How are you? Oh, good. All good. Good. Okay. So um, this is Harel from Metal Temple, and I'm calling you from Israel, from Haifa. Who? Harel from Metal Temple, and I'm in Haifa in Israel. Yeah, yeah. I heard you. I said cool. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. So uh, I'd like to congratulate you for your ninth album, Retro Goer, uh, which is coming out in like two days, right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, good luck, Yeah, so from the tracks I already heard, it sounds great. So tell me a bit about it, about the writing prof, about the writing, the recording process. Are you excited about it? Well, we're very excited, of course. It's uh, album number nine by now. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think we spent like most of uh, last year working on the record. I mean... At first, you know, first we just did the EP, and mm -hmm. once Danny actually left the band, we we actually started writing for the rest of the record, which was probably from the end of summer until the end of the year, so about six months. Uh -huh. And, uh, it, you know, it's usual, it's the group effort, and we all do the pre-productions, and uh, then actually... You know, brainstorm, have jam sessions, and, and mm -hmm. work it all out until we get to the studio. Mm -hmm. I see. Do you, do you guys jam session a lot? Do you practice a lot? No, no, never, almost, because we have mm -hmm. two Americans and then the rest are Europeans, so we mm -hmm. don't really have the luxury. I see, so I understand. Usually it's just before tours or whatever. Okay, so uh, I'd like to ask you, uh, your new video for Divine Impediment has almost no violence at all. So, um, what's new? What made you change the atmosphere? Who came up with the idea for the video? Uh, I came up with the idea for the video because, well, together with the guy that's doing the uh, video itself, but mm -hmm. basically, um, how would I say, it, it, the lyrics of the song have, have a certain message, mm -hmm. and there was not really a point to make it. Uh, bloody or whatever because that that was not the point mm -hmm. uh, the song deals more with religion and extremism especially in religion and how that affects our society nowadays so we opted for a more um, how would I say mm -hmm. religious is not the right word but a bit a more dark approach to it I think and um are these issues that you that you I don't know um, that give you even more inspiration now after so many records? I mean, is that something you draw inspiration from? Such issues, social issues, politi political issues. Well, usually we don't. We never really write about that kind of stuff because we we don't want to be that band that preaches. But mm -hmm. with everything that has happened over you know the last year or two, it's that's you know present that y you can't really go around it anymore so I decided to to have like two free songs in the record to go about that stuff um, but inspiration goes for many things I mean many things like horror films or you know true crime or mm -hmm. reality I mean reality is more gruesome than, than any fantasy you can come up with really <laughs> yeah well uh, I have to agree uh, on that Okay, and I know you, you really hate lineup questions, so I'm just going to ask it quickly. Uh, Abortive right. has had many lineup changes. Uh, how would you say that has affected and contributed to Aborted's current sound, like to what we're about to hear on your new record? Excuse me? I didn't hear that. Um, how, how all these lineup changes have affected and contributed to the sound, to, the, to Aborted's current sound? Are we going to get those implications on Retro Gore? Well, I mean, the lineup's been pretty stable since 2012. Um, we, we just had one member leave last year because he's getting married and mm -hmm. he wasn't able to tour anymore because of the, you know, his job. So he was going to either lose his job or, you know, quit doing music on a touring level. So he made a decision for himself, which, of course, understandable. Uh, but it, how it, in, you know, affected, I think the main three songwriters, four songwriters for the, the last three albums are intact and uh, it's been pretty steady that way uh, Ian actually though for the new album did write quite a bunch of stuff so it's actually cool to have him mm -hmm. he was in the, jo in, in the band really shortly and he already you know, put a lot of effort into it already I see, okay 
And Aborted has grew quite big these past two years, and you're even signed with a major label for a few years now for, with Century Media. So how is it working with such a big name in the industry? Is there, was there ever any pressure regarding material or releases? Uh, you know, have you been asked to write in a more approachable or accessible fashion? Stuff like that. No, I mean, we've been... We've been with Century Media for about 10 years now, or 11, and, mm -hmm. uh, no, about, about 10, and, um, it's just been, it's been fine, I mean, they've, they really helped us and supported us, and they've never at any point, uh, made us do anything we didn't want to, or, you, you know, mm -hmm. told us what to do artistically, mm -hmm. they've fully supported all the ideas you know I've come up with especially with the marketing and and, and everything so I, I think they trust in what we do mm -hmm. and uh, it's you know it's <laughs> after 10 years I guess it's kind of normal they trust you in what you do right <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah I'm sure actually um, okay so okay as I've said I'm from Israel and aborted has an interest I think an interesting history with Israel since you guys played here like relatively early in your career and you've even used to live here so tell us a little bit about that era how did things with you know with Horkor the Grindor Israeli act uh, how did that happen and why did that stop well the first time we played Israel I think was in 2002 mm -hmm. so I've definitely had a relationship with the country for a really long time mm -hmm. uh, I moved back in 2008 and I did Horcore already uh, before that. Uh, those guys were friends of mine. Mm -hmm. And when their previous singer left, they were like, oh, we don't know what to do, blah, blah. So I basically, I, I, you know, I offered my services because I was already dating Miri back then. And mm -hmm. I was flying back and forward a lot. So it was, you know, making it possible to do. So we did it. But then after a while, I mean, Aborted became way too busy. Mm -hmm. And the time I was home, I actually just wanted to spend, you know, at home, mm -hmm. you know, relaxing and, and not, you know, going, going to practice twice a week or whatever. So, uh, basically, I, I quit because of that because it was just, it was too busy for me. I, I couldn't, mm -hmm. you know, they, they had certain things that they wanted to do. And they wanted to play a lot of shows, and a lot of times I wouldn't be available, and I wouldn't be able to go practice a lot, and it was, I, I felt that I was holding them back, so at some point I just said, you, you know, you guys should just go on without me, because I, I can't really put in the 100% with everything else going on in my mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but I mean, we played Israel a whole bunch of times, we love the place, I have many good friends there, so hopefully we can come back one day. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, I was really disappointed the last time we were supposed to come here a few months ago. Um, mm -hmm. Something happened with the production and the show got cancelled. So would you mind shedding some light, like what happened there? Well, basically what happened is the show was booked and mm -hmm. the promoter didn't book any flights. And we were five days or less away from the show and I told him, mm -hmm. we need flights because, uh, <laughs> you know... <laughs> last minute it's going to get more expensive this is kind of retarded mm -hmm. to which he said you know uh, oh no we've been doing this for years uh, everybody knows booking tickets last minute is cheaper which is hilarious because I've been touring for 20 years and that's mm -hmm. never been the case but okay mm -hmm. and uh, he then you know offered us flights which <clears throat> had an 18 hour layover Mm -hmm. wow. which coming from Belgium is retarded and not acceptable mm -hmm. I mean that's just one bay, one way 20 hours traveling from ben Belgium to Israel mm -hmm. I mean come on man we, we yeah, can't that's, take that's four funny. days off of work <laughs> for one show yeah no <laughs> it's quite understandable so we told him that it's not okay and, and it was just going back and forward and eventually he wanted to pay for the flights and then in the end he didn't want to pay for a hotel, and we're like, oh, mm -hmm. this is going to be a nightmare, so we just canceled. I see. Okay. So, um, and you were involved in another side project a few years back, uh, from what I see, Sideband, if I'm not mistaken, right? Sideband? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, with Dirk of Soilwork and Napum Death uh, members, and you've released only EPs uh, yep. back then. So why did the work on that stop? And is there any chance to expect new material? It it hasn't stopped. It's just uh, Dirk is writing and doing everything. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, you know, he decided uh, he writes whenever he has time. To, so now he's really busy with soil work. Mm -hmm. So he's he's not doing anything for Ben C. So I told you know I, I talked to him not too long ago. Mm -hmm. And whenever he'll write new material, I'll record it, and then we'll have something new. But mm -hmm. up until then, I think it's just up to whenever we have time and we feel like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I'd like to ask you about the festivals upcoming these summers. Uh, which festivals are you already confirmed to, and are you excited about that? Uh, we're very excited about the festivals, of course. Every year is you know, a very fun period. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, uh, there's a whole bunch. I don't know them all by heart, but we're we're playing Sweden mm -hmm. in a Gefle Metal Festival with At the Gates Creator Behemoth. Wow. Okay. Raquel Abbott, you know, Obituary, Amorphous. There's a ton of cool bands. Mm -hmm. uh, we're playing Brutal Assault, which is always incredible. Uh huh. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's cool. So are you excited about that? Is that always like? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I've seen in I don't know somewhere online that uh, a few years ago this organization called Metalheads Against Racism approached you, approached the boarded, and I understood the boarded signed to it. And so, what is that organization, and what does it mean? Like. <laughs> I don't think it means anything. Uh, we signed up ages ago because we don't support racism, clearly. Mm -hmm. So I think they just made a, a list of metal bands that do not support racism. Mm -hmm. And and we're in there. I think that that's really all there is to it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So they haven't kept in touch and like kept you updated no, on what no. they do and they see. anything at all. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate, actually. But hey, I thought it was a good initiative. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So um, again, a bit back to Israel. So Israel is in, is in quite an interesting time regarding global politics and its you know everlasting conflict with the Palestinians. So and there are organizations and institutions calling to boycott Israel. So was aborted ever contacted about that? And do you think aborted would or ever should take a political stand regarding such issues wherever they go to? Or, I mean, no, I don't think we should. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't see a reason to boycott Israel, uh, honestly, mm -hmm. and I think people are getting, a lot of the times, people are getting too involved with something they don't understand or know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of false information out there, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I think it's, you know, it's, it's retarded. And actually, we have a song on the new album called Covenant of Ignorance, which is dealing mm -hmm. with exactly that. There's all these political fucking social geniuses out there from re reading Wikipedia and, mm -hmm. you know, bullshit websites that think that they know everything. And people need to shut the fuck up more because the internet is way too much of an outlet for morons to speak their mind. Mm -hmm. We would never take a stance against, Isra uh, against Israel or, for that matter, we don't want to get involved with the whole conflict to mm -hmm. begin with. Mm -hmm. I think... What most people want to do is just live. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I fully agree, of course. And um, you've touched a bit, uh, again, a bit about politics, if you don't mind. So I'd just like uh, to ask you, what do you think about the refugee crisis in Europe? Do you think the refugees should be granted access and asylum? Or should they be treated differently than they do? Or I think it's a very complex situation. Mm-hmm. Because in one hand, they should be helped. Mm -hmm. um, clearly, people that, that are in distress and are living in war should be helped. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are always, you know, people who take advantage, like in everything in life, and it's something you can't uh, run around. Mm -hmm. And there's also this, how will I say, fucked up. Mm -hmm. So it's a climate that we live in where everybody needs to be a politically correct fucking equal warrior or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. When someone does something wrong, it doesn't matter if it's a refugee or not. They, you know, it needs to be called what it is. Mm -hmm. 
uh, people need to stop hiding behind social political blankets and and, and always you know be the freaking hippie mm -hmm. I, I I have no tolerance for extremism and discrimination and all of that. Mm -hmm. But when people do shit, you know, to harm others and fuck it up, it doesn't matter where they're from. If they are from the country that you know of origin, then they need to be dealt with. And if they're you know, it, refugees or or whatever. Uh, causing trouble in a certain country, mm -hmm. then they need to be dealt with as well accordingly. Because I mean, you, you can't go around and you know, if you get chances to get to a, a new country, get a new you know, get a new life, get helped, uh, get away from the war. I don't think you should uh, be disrespectful towards that. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, when, when I moved to Israel, for example, it was a big adjustment for me as well. Mm -hmm. I also had to adjust to how life is there and not be like, hey, in Europe we do things like this, mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want to do. It, it doesn't work that way, and I think people just need to realize that, and both sides need to be understanding of each other's culture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you for that. So, for a completely different topic, uh, I'd like to ask you about aborted uh, artwork. So that changed as well a bit over the years. And I know you've worked with Christopher Lovell or Lovell for Retro Gores, uh for the cover. And so how did that happen? How did you start working together and who came up with the ideas? Was that mutual? Um, well, I found him uh, on a, you know, artist community. And uh, I fucking love this work he's mm -hmm. absolutely incredible mm -hmm. and exactly in the, the the style that we were looking for for years so i just hit him up he was into it he actually liked and knew the band mm -hmm. and i really did give him carte blanche so he could do whatever mm -hmm. the hell he wanted i just told him you know theme is 80s you're great with the 80s <laughs> bit. okay we we love all the silly fucking toys games whatever do whatever the hell you want and he actually got really excited because those are exactly the things he likes. Yeah, okay. A big 80s fan as well. Yeah. So he, he got to incorporate a lot of things into, you know, ex, you know extreme artwork mm -hmm. in a funny way and in, in a way that, you know, something that he likes as well. And we, we didn't have any comments, any changes. It was super easy. He delivered exactly what we wanted. Mm -hmm. And I think he had a blast doing it. So mm -hmm. I really hope to work with him again okay um, okay hopefully so tell me Sven what do you listen to when you don't listen to metal what are some of your favorite embarrassing artists or just <laughs> not embarrassing but <laughs> it's not metal I don't know if it's embarrassing but lately mm -hmm. I've been listening a lot to uh, Carpenter Brutes okay and, uh, uh, Highway Superstar and Perturbator uh, yeah Perturbator and stuff like that okay that's cool um, okay, um, so other than Clive Barker, for example, what books do you like to read? Uh, <laughs> I don't really have time to read anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I wish I did, but I just, I just don't. Uh, I have a day job, which mm -hmm. takes a lot of my time. Mm -hmm. and I have to read up for that, too, because, you know, design is always uh, evolving, so we're trying to keep up with everything. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of articles, new you know, software coming out that we have to deal with. So mm, that takes up a lot okay. of my time, and when I get home, I like to watch a movie and play a video game. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so as your day job, uh, you're still working as a graphic designer, you know, mm -hmm. for, uh, from what I heard, making apps and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, that's cool. Do you like it as a day yeah. job? Yeah, it's, it's a really cool job. It's, I started working for a very high-profile company over here, and mm -hmm. it's just very challenging because the clients are very demanding, but... Mm -hmm. It's it's good to be challenged, so it's really cool. Okay, um, okay, Sven, thank you very much for your time, and uh, I wish you all the best with your new album and for the touring this summer. And personally, it was great for me because I'm a big fan as well. Um, Thanks a lot, man. Mostly Sven's Gormageddon, and again, it was great talking to you. So thank you. Thanks so much. a lot, man. Have thank a good you. night. Thank you. Take care. Good night. Cheers.